A pleasure to me all at last, and welcome back to Survival of No Limits, and welcome to the last ever time that I'll ever have this kind of tangent up on the series, pretty much. This whole outfit and this whole location you see behind me are gonna be different going forward. A couple more days from now, I'll have something entirely new. A whole series of subjects to talk about, hopefully, if I can find the time to do so, plus a lot more. We'll see what happens down the line, but until then, I'm gonna get to one last thing about myself in particular that has happened throughout my lifetime. But believe it or not, unlike the majority of the other subjects that I've talked about before, even with that infamous, well, quadruple whammy that I put out to my own foot, this one is in fact the most recent that I have to talk about because believe it or not, this takes place almost on a daily basis. As a matter of fact, it's actually a couple of things right here. Airway closures and a dysfunctional throat trapdoor, which realistically is called the lower esophageal sphincter. And this is in fact the little flap that goes in your throat to regulate air on one side and the trachea, and then to also allow food and water to pass through the esophagus down to the stomach. But I will go ahead and just mention real quickly that my lower esophageal sphincter, or just trap doors, I simply call it, by this point in time, is rather dysfunctional. It probably could have been for a, a few reasons. It could have been from all the vomiting I've had during my time with the bird flu in 2017. It could have possibly been from other stuff that had happened in my lifetime, or maybe there could have been something I've even eaten or drink, or drank, yeah. That's the word I'm looking for there. Eaten or drank that could have possibly deformed this little flap in my throat. But by all cases, I'm not necessarily hoping to go into too much detail on the whole entire thing. But the point is, it's dysfunctional now. I'm hoping to look into this kind of stuff one day, hopefully with whatever medical experts I can find. Maybe my actual doctor might be able to help me out with this. But at the same time, I'm also looking forward to figuring out the reason why I occasionally have airway closures, as if my neck muscles seem to twitch every now and then and cause my trachea to tighten up, not allowing oxygen intake to take place, or sometimes where I cannot even breathe at all. And these are things that typically happen, well, most of the time, I'd say like on a daily basis, but the point is, there are times where my airways close up unintentionally and involuntarily, and they cause me to not breathe for up to a few seconds at a time. And I can't be sure if there is actually a certain thing to this, like there could be an allergy that I might have that I don't know about, or it could even be asthma, who even knows. I have yet to figure this all out, so until then, it's just a big mystery. And the same thing goes with why my trap door in my throat is constantly allowing me to choke on my own spit, on, on air even. Every time I eat or drink, it is pretty much a press your luck game out there. To find out if I'm either gonna swallow this stuff safely or my trap door is not gonna work properly and I end up choking on that stuff. Every time I drink, every time I eat, every time I breathe, it's all pretty much just about that. Either I choke or I safely get that stuff down. So the thing is, there's pretty much nothing I can do about it for right now other than to find out what the doctors might have to say about this stuff. So at this point in time, I'll just pretty much know for a fact that these things are probably gonna be life-threatening if they continue at this rate. Because I'll just go ahead and let you know that in one special case, a few months ago this year, I at one point had an incident with my trapdoor, allowing me to choke to a point where I could not even breathe for a whole minute. I could not even try to breathe in. I had to keep coughing whatever it was out of my lungs. It apparently went down that far. And if that stuff weren't to get out of my lungs right away, then I wouldn't have been able to breathe correctly. And as a result, it would have been possible I could have died from asphyxiation at that point. So at this point in time, at the same time, I also went on ahead and did a little thing for the local Super Crazy Spice Extravaganza, which was a series relating to Milestone Challenge videos that I did, where I go ahead and eat spicy products of all sorts. 
I had also gotten another one of those cases where my trap door becomes dysfunctional and I end up choking on something, and that of which was my own saliva. So, that's just pretty much what that is. And same thing with airway closures. I mean, I don't even know why those happen either. Maybe I might actually have asthma and I don't even realize it. But again, the professionals are the ones who seem to be helpful about this kind of stuff and only they, and I mean only they, to my knowledge, have the ability to go fix this stuff up. So in the future, we will probably see what else comes about. Maybe there might actually be something that turns up that could be shocking to you. But to me, I'm not so sure myself. But anyways, now here we are at the point where I could declare this to be all over. So expect me to be in a new, a new location with some more subjects to talk about and a whole new outfit. But if you want to see more of that on my channel, then make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.